Yeah, every place can use a diner. So you start to wonder, maybe you should quit your job and get a diner. That's what Keith Pippi did. He used to drive a truck, used to be a customer here back when this was Irene's diner. I just got tired of driving. You know, I told my wife, I said, we got to do something different. And uh, I always thought this was a, was a nice place. So uh, I went from one kind of grease to another. <laughs> Keith and Peggy Pippi bought this old place in 1988 and renamed it Pip's Diner. Peggy used to be a registered nurse, and she says changing careers wasn't easy. Well, when we were first here the first month, I thought he was crazy, and I knew I was crazy. Pips sits right under a railroad trestle in the west end of Pittsburgh. It doesn't look like a diner outside, but inside, you can see why it's considered the oldest diner building in Pittsburgh, probably from the 1920s. There are booths over to one side now, and a new, bigger kitchen area on the other end. We used to have to all three of us cram back here and make salads and everything, and it was like, oh, where do you cook? Where do you cut pies? Where do you do all your salads? But it works. You work with what you got space for. That's Ginny Lee, a great waitress. John, you want more coffee? Yeah. Like the other waitresses, she cooks breakfast, and like everyone here, she used to have another job. How you doing, guys? Good. Worked in the bank for 17 years. And I never flipped eggs in my life, never was the waitress. And I learned in like one day to flip eggs. It gets so crazy here. I really enjoy this job. I love what I do. The guys are great. The food's fresh. You know that. <laughs> the person who's been here the longest, more than 15 years, is Dutzer, the cook. Even she had an earlier career. <laughs> I was a beautician. Now she keeps the chili and the other pots bubbling, and she opens in the morning. 5.30, I get here, set up the diner, wait on people, come back and cook. That's it. Dutzer, oh, that's my main girl, Dutzer. She, uh, she runs a place when I'm not around. In fact, she runs it when I am around. Well, some people do know Dutzer's real name, but they refuse to say it because she just goes by Dutzer. We just do breakfast and lunch, and then uh, the grill closes at 4, and uh, we, we have a lottery machine. So then we have a bunch of guys come in for coffee and stuff after work, and uh, we stay on the 7 for paint up on uh, the lottery. <laughs> There's one special table right behind the cash register. Well, we have our regulars. Uh, we always sit at that table in the morning and uh, discuss things and just a regular talk. And somebody, uh, somebody said, boy, that should be called the table of knowledge because we solve all, every problem there is right here. And, uh, that's our pinochle table, too. After lunch, we, we play pinochle here. Mick 24, Gene 15, Reno 25, Frank 33. Contra card. I need to sit. Oh, a double yoke. Somebody's lucky they got a double yoke today. Most of the people coming here, they're not in a big hurry. You know, they, they, they you know, they're gonna come in here and spend some time and talk and you say hello and what did you do last night and uh, how was your weekend and uh, how's your kids and stuff like that. You know, it's just just the way it is. You know, and uh, that's what really makes it nice. You know, it is nice, like a lot of these diners. And what's the secret? The customers. Everything, everything, the hot sausage is excellent. The breakfasts are about the best around, the food, the service, everything. It's just the atmosphere, you know. It's very, like a neighborhood place. This is the diner, if you gotta eat at diner, this is the best one in the city. I think a diner's special because it's so small and you see friends in there, even if you're a stranger. You walk out, you're a friend. We can talk good too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh. 